like, oh my goodness, look at you guys. All right, yep, you made it. <laughs> and we are home. Um, I wanted to make sure I checked these guys before we left the post office, just in case they were all DOA, because it's been three days that they've been in shipping. And as you saw at the post office, they were trying to climb out of the box. So we know we got quite a few live ones in there. So we're gonna get them into their brooder right now. We decided to go ahead and put straw in here, although we don't normally do that for chicks and turkeys because waterfowl are super, super, super messy. Um, and we were actually gonna put them directly into a uh, chicken tractor with a lamp, except that they, since they were three days in transit, we want to keep an, a watch on them for a few days just to make sure they're okay. So um, that's why we're going to put them in here first. One thing, we definitely need to raise this lamp. Right now, it's in the 60s, but today our high is meant to be in the 90s. So uh, we're going to have to keep a really close eye on these guys because we... They, they, they need to be at 95 degrees, which by this afternoon, they might be at 95 degrees without a heat lamp. We've got the, the feeder in there and we're gonna put the water on some blocks just so that make sure it stays level. Cause if it doesn't stay level, it could empty out um, on completely, which would make a really, really big mess. And don't ever use a metal one of these with waterfowl because they have such a big bill. The very first time we got ducks, 19 years ago, we had a duck cut its bill really badly on... Um, the bottom edge there, the metal was folded under like this. And so there was a sharp edge underneath. And so the bill got caught underneath the edge. Yeah, so that's why we're for sure using plastic for these guys. So I'm gonna hand the box off to Mike and be careful when you open it. When I opened it at the post office, a couple of them were trying to jump out. So let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. Put, put water in there for them? Um, it's like um, it's a concentrated feed that does have okay. some moisture in it. Okay. So it helps them on their trip. So. My goodness, geese are so much bigger than uh, chickens. Whoops. We got the, um, we ordered these kind of late. Let me see. We ordered these kind of late. And uh, so all we could get was the mix. So I have no idea what breed these are. The ones that are yellow are probably a white breed, like Emden or white Chinese. And then the darker ones could be something like African. So, if we can just get a few of them drinking, then everybody will start. There. And that's it, we ordered six, we got exactly six. The demand for poultry continues to be really sky high this year. Um, yay, somebody's got it figured out. Well, the captain of the plastic, they're not quite hitting the water. It looks like he finally got a little. Yeah, he keeps packing <laughs> at the plastic, but. He'll find it. Yeah, he's gonna get it. So we just want the geese for our pond to help with the algae control, because the ducks aren't getting it. And geese are vegetarians, they eat a lot more. So. We, and plus we have one old 15 year old goose who's lonely. So we thought it would be nice to get him some friends. So that's why we really didn't care which breed they were. So we've got the heat lamp on one side so that if they get hot, they can move to the other side. Cause like I said, it's expected to be 95 this afternoon. So it has become obvious to us fairly quickly that these guys think that the straw is what they should eat. It has been a long time since we have had geese in a brooder, so um, putting them out in the chicken tractor with the heat light would have been perfect. Um, so we are just gonna, we're gonna do what we do with the chicks and the turkeys. Normally with chicks and turkeys, we start them out totally on paper towels. And um, so that, because they peck at little things. And so that's what we're gonna do with these guys so that hopefully once they get a taste, for the um, starter feed that they will then figure out how it works with getting feed out of the feeder. So that's how it works with chickens and turkeys, which we brood every single year, multiple batches. 
So hope that that'll, I think that's gonna work with these guys too. Looks like they're going after it already. Yay, they're figuring it out. Yeah, that feed is way more tasty than the straw, isn't it guys? It has been nine hours now since I picked these goslings up at the post office and brought them home and put them into the sprouter. And it looks like they're doing really well. It's 90 degrees here, so I'm very surprised that when I just now walked in, they were under the heat lamp. But it looks like they're doing great. We are really excited about watching them grow up and seeing them swimming out on the pond in another month.